Good morning, guys. Um, sorry about last night. Um, I, I had no beans left in me to finish off the vlog. So here I am and I've got Lewis instead of Georgia with me. Substitution. <laughs> Substitution coming off the pitch and coming on. <laughs> So this morning I thought we could just do a quick haul of everything we bought yesterday as promised and I'll talk you quickly through Mickey's Halloween party and if it was worth it. Um, myself and Georgia loved it so much, thought it was great. I went on and looked at prices, they're between $109 and $199 each per ticket. So imagine you had a big family it would be so much money. Like we wouldn't be able to afford it if we had children. Um, we paid somewhere around $150 each. So me and Georgia yesterday was about $300, I think. Yeah, it was. Yeah, which is a lot of money. I feel like there was a massive queues for like the Halloween treats that are only exclusive to that party. So we didn't actually get to try everything we wanted to try. The queue times for the rides were absolutely fine. The parade was really good. There's two parades, I think, one earlier on and one in the evening, like really late. We did the earlier one, couldn't really see anything. It was full of kids, so I would suggest you do the later one if you're older. The fireworks were amazing. I love them so much, but I haven't seen the Magic Kingdoms ones yet, like the normal ones. For me, worth the money. Yeah, great night for me. Lewis went to Tampa for the football. Yeah. An absolute blast and so the chief good. won so I was buzzing. I'll insert some videos um, of it. <laughs> Um, Fraser actually organised, there's like a supporters bus that goes there for Tampa so we paid about probably 45 or 50 bucks each to get onto that and it took about an hour and 45 minutes there, an hour and 45 minutes back so yeah it was ideal, it dropped us off about 20 minutes from the villa so we just had to get an Uber at the end so totally okay. seamless, absolutely fine. And how much was your ticket again? Our tickets were about 170 bucks each. And we bought them resale on Ticketmaster, it was like a verified, right? yeah, so we'd been monitoring it for weeks. Months. Um, and they started at 300, we weren't, we probably weren't really willing to pay that. Um, so we waited and waited and waited, and it was literally about two or three days ago, when the storm was on actually, we decided, right, prices are coming down now, because people are obviously not going after the storm. Um, it was like 100 and... 35 bucks I want to say but then after fees and stuff it's about 170 so but well Ooh. worth it right guys so we'll start the haul um let's go Lee oh yeah it's like Christmas I love these go kind of things stuff first, right. also I just want to quickly say this isn't like a boasting or a bragging video I love watching videos if you've been to Primark or Home Bargains or if you've been on Fifth Avenue in New York I want to see what you've bought um, so this isn't a bragging video. So tell them how much those tops were that so I've just shown off. These are two gym t-shirts for from New Balance and you paid... 31 bucks after tax. 31 bucks after 15, tax. 15 to 16 per top which was quite good. New Balance. Yep. Yeah. I'm just going to show these trainers. This is probably my favourite purchase of the day. Um, Nike Airs. Just really, really like them. Nike Airs, yep. Yeah, I believe they were 80 bucks. 80 bucks. Um, um, Three tax, probably. And um, next up, we went to Tommy Hilfiger. I got these pants, um, these thongs. I got the pink, the navy, and the white. I wear these every day, but the Victoria's Secret ones, um, you know, like the Calvin Klein ones, just with the bands at the top, just like this. So. They were cute. How much did I pay for them? $21 for those three pairs. Cool. Oh, and then in Under Armour, I just picked up these cycling shorts. I have gym leggings like this, um, exactly the same, but full length. And I've had them for years. They're not see-through, they're amazing. So I was like, hmm, I'm gonna pick up the cycling shorts the same. Cause I was into spin before I came. I don't know if I'll be able to even breathe. 
when I get home. Seventeen dollars for good. for full, for Under Armour ones. Also worth noting, I don't know if you said where we went, but we went to the outlets. It was the Orlando International outlets we went to. Um, they're just yeah. right next to Universal, and they have so many shops. You could be there for days. So we kind of just whizzed, yeah we just whizzed in and out but there i feel it is so much we didn't do we were only there for about three to four hours and we could have been there for so much longer then next up we've got bath and body works um my friend chloe wanted me to pick her up some hand creams which were eight dollars fifty each but i think if you bought four you got if you bought three you got the fourth free I don't know how much I'm not into Bath and Body Works at all. Don't don't know the hype. I don't know anything about it. But Chloe asked me for these, so I picked her up them. So I don't know how much you normally pay for them. And then I picked up a three wicker candle, um, Halloween one. I just want to light it at home, so when it's all lit, we'll be like, mmm, that's like the Florida smell because it's Halloween now. So yeah, how much the candle? was $13.50. I don't know if that's normal. Next up, we've got Adidas. Just pure and simple gonna be there. Three stripe black shorts that are cotton. Yeah, they're cotton. They feel so good. Also, quick note, with especially with Adidas and Nike, um, we were there about three, four in the afternoon. The best thing you can do is go in the morning. I've got size six feet which I think is probably standard. Um, so I couldn't get a pair of trainers size six. I couldn't get any clothes size 10 to 12 in Adidas. It just- To just, be fair, we were there on a Sunday as well. So that might not have helped, so but yeah. all the main sizes were gone. So yeah. you, get there as early that? as you can. Yeah. Did manage to get socks though. Black and white socks. 12 pairs of socks, 10 bucks per pair. So overall, those shorts were shorts, socks, socks. So that's a pair of shorts and twelve pairs of socks were thirty-seven bucks. Those shorts, how much were they? Fifteen. Fifteen for those cotton shorts. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, there's one more thing in the Adidas bag. It's me, and I don't cost anything. Next up, Lou went to Tommy Hilfiger. Obviously, if you know me, I basically keep them in business. Um, so I just got some punts, two pairs of punts, and... And this t-shirt, cute, lovely. And how much did I spend there, Ray? Get the receipt. $45 for the t-shirt and two pairs of pants. Which is not bad. And they did have all the sizes. Yeah. But that was one of the first places we went to, so maybe if we went later in the day, they would yeah. Who knows? They weren't overly busy, but Toria's Secret is there. It was like worse than a Primark on a Saturday. Was it? Yeah, do you not remember? Was I there? Yeah, we walked in and walked. I, I think can't I was looking at the map. Hate shopping. Right, next up, Lewis went to Vans. Another good tip whilst you're here, um, if you go on the website for the outlets, they do have like a an interactive map. So you, wherever you are, to share your location, It'll show you what shops you're outside and then it's got a map that you can scroll about and see where you need to go. Um, next up, Vans. So this was probably the best value I got all day. Oh, so, is that a crop? Oh. Yep, I got myself Dangling. a crop top. Let's see the back of it. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. So I think... I've not seen these yet. No, you haven't. Because she was so desperate to leave me in the malls. I hate shopping. Honestly. But yeah, Vans, very good value for money on these. Um, so this is the second one. Pretty much the same, but it's black and yellow. Oh, I like that. Yeah? Yeah, that's cool. I thought you got three. Oh, you I did. There's a third one on my lap. Thank you, Ray. Um, so there's number two. Number two. And then the last one is just a plain Jane, bands on the front. Oh, I like that. So that's us. So three t-shirts for $30. Yep, so that was what was going on in the Vans outlet. Three for 30 bucks, which is an absolute bargain. So then we went to Sunglasses Hut. I have said a few times ages ago on my channel that I've been wanting a pair of designer sunglasses. And then when we went to London in February, Lewis was going to buy me sunglasses for my birthday, but we just didn't find 
the right pair like they were all like three four hundred pounds and i didn't love them enough to want them yeah. so we never bothered and then i was like right i'm gonna treat myself to prada sunglasses and holiday and then we looked in the airport you kind of see that on the travel day video but i was just like oh, i just never find the pair anyway went to sunglasses hut yesterday and i tried on a pair of burberry and i was like oh my god i love them but i was like i need time to think and then i went into another sunglasses hut and i was like no i just want prada but then there was like deals on for two pairs and all that jazz so anyway find picked up the burberry and then i picked up prada so she just wanted burberry then she just wanted prada so she ended up just going somewhere in the middle and, and getting got... burberry and prada this is like the only like expensive purchase I've ever made in my whole life. Like it's so weird. I just, it's mental that this has happened. Is it though? Yeah, I don't own anything else expensive. So anyway, Prada and Burberry. So these stole my heart straight away. Well, the prices won't really be on these, the original ones. I'll be able to work it out. So these are the Burberry ones, which I love so much. I just picked these up and put them on. A pair of sunglasses is a pair of sunglasses <laughs> no! to me, honestly. I felt like I was having a bit of a Kardashian moment. I love them so much. I put it on my Yoda top today and Luce said, you look like you're from space. When I actually picked these up and put them on in the shop, I could just hear my mum in the background being like, they're awful, reality. Anyway, love them. So that's the Burberry ones. And then the Prada ones, they're a bit more of a people pleaser. Re was never going to buy these on her own, by the way. No. She was totally persuaded by the Well, you were, you were very unhelpful in there. Basically, I wanted these Prada glasses and they had them in the, in the shop and they were tiny black ones with massive chunky sides but they just didn't suit me at all and I was desperate. I was like, I just want them to be nice on me and Lucy's like, well, they're not, so like, don't buy them. So I opted for these. So these ones were about 280. 280, pre-tax. For the Burberry. And then these ones were like 480. 430. 430. If they were over 300, you got $75 off. If they were over 200, you got $50 off. And then if you bought more than one, your second price was, your second pair was half price. Yeah, that's right. So for two pairs of sunglasses, I paid $500. Instead of, as it say here, no, it's two different receipts, isn't it? Oh yeah. So, so what one are they? They would have been 713 pre-tax and they ended up being 500. I think it was like 500 bang on. Yeah, roughly 500. So that's not bad. We kind of didn't talk about it after I did it. I was like, I just want out the shop and never talk about it ever again. And then we went to Michael Kors and I was like, I just can't come all the way over here and not buy a bag. Like everyone comes away with designer bags from Florida. So Lewis treated me to this little black Michael Kors bag. It's actually really small and cute, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They had crazy deals on, like they had like three bags for $280. Like they had a big one, a crossbody one, a little one, and then you could get a purse as well. I could get a, so this was $99 and I could, could have got a purse with it for an extra $29. I didn't need a purse, so I never bothered. Um, but then when we got up, they keep asking you for your email address and when you give it, you got more money off. So Lou paid $85 for this. So thank you very much. I'm so delighted You're with welcome. it. You're welcome. Cute little black bag. So guys, that is gonna conclude the haul really. We're now off to Hollywood Studios to film a Star Wars video. I've got my Yoda top on for it. This is all being planned. I'm gonna go and try all the food around the galaxy around the galaxy's edge Ga around the galaxy's edge and you guys can come with me i'm going to start a new vlog for that so we'll see you on the next video thank you so much for watching hit that like button hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a video see you guys later Bye. Bye.